Hello everybody, Mac here. Welcome back to the show. What I have here is something that we have not done very often. We're doing an unboxing today, and this is this is just a big bad toy store pile of loot that I had shipped to me. And I've received multiple piles of loot, but I don't think I've ever done a full-on unboxing video before. I know I've done a few shorts of them, just like a peek at what was inside whenever I would get those really big uh, shipments. But the reason I want to do a video on this one is because there is a lot of cool stuff in here. I am legitimately really excited about getting this box. There is so much coolness in here. And there's a lot that, because I had it sitting in my pile of loot, was either, it's either old by now, so I may not do a video on it, or there's just so much other stuff that I need to get to that I may not be able to do a video on some of the, on all of this stuff right away. But I still wanted to show off show you <laughs> what we have so let's open this up and let's see what we're going to start with uh, do a really good job boxing this stuff up i love how they use this heavy cardboard right here all right first off whoa first off we have this mezco 112 the crow and, oh, I've been waiting for this one. I don't get much Mezco 112. As a matter of fact, I think this is only my second 112 figure. Yeah, yeah, my first one was Wonder Woman that I actually bought from uh, RetroCon a few years ago. So this is only my second 112 figure. And look at that box artwork. Look at that. That is beautiful. And then on the back, we have... Uh, the accessories, we have the figure, we have that iconic image of Brandon Lee on both sides, Believe in Angels. Like, the reason I got this is this this movie came out when I was a kid, and there's, there's, a, there's just a whole lot <laughs> about this figure, about this movie that I absolutely loved. And yeah, that was that was really the only reason I got this one. So let's set that aside. Let's take a look at something else that we have here. Okay, this one I may not do a video on just because it's old and it's not something that I normally do. But this is Mattel's WWE Elite, um, Drew McIntyre. I don't collect wrestling figures, okay? But let me look this way. He's a Scotsman in a kilt with a claymore. What more could you want? I'm probably going to pop those knee pads off down there. He even has, like, you can see the metal bracers on there. This just this is just something that's really cool. I'm probably not going to use it, obviously, for wrestling. Might just fit it into, like, a fantasy line, put him next to Drizzt or something. I don't know. I just thought this looked really cool with the long hair, the kilt, and the claymore. And, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm... Might just end up being custom fodder. I don't know, but I just liked this look. I liked the idea of having this. I just thought this was really cool. Next up, two Joe figures that I've been waiting for. My Zarana finally came, and this is one of the ones that, like, I know she's been out for a while. I know a lot of other channels have already taken a look at her. I know you've probably seen and heard everything you want to see and hear about her. I'll probably still do one, though, because it's Zarana. Come on. And then the other one is Dusty. So now between Dusty, Desert Rat, and those two Valiverse uh, Elite Commandos in their Desert Fatigues, I have Rat Patrol. And if you don't know what that is, I'll probably mention it again whenever we're doing the um, video for Dusty, because he is definitely going to get one. All right. Continuing with the fantasy lines. My movie He-Man, my movie He-Man and Skeletor. Once again, I was really excited to be getting these. I actually unironically like the movie. I liked it when I was a kid. I watch it. I still like it. This is my favorite version of Skeletor. 
As a matter of fact, this movie has my favorite version of Evil Lynn. So I'm really hoping we get more, um, more, more movie figures for this. And I'm sure you've seen this already too, that the artwork on this on the back is just fantastic. And it, whoop, it butts up to form one big image whenever you put the boxes together. And that's really cool. We all know, we all know the, the tragedy of movie He-Man's face. We'll be taking a look at that. But this, Skeletor right here, this was the main reason I wanted these movie figures. That is just an awesome Skeletor with the armor and that Langella face. Oh man. And now I've saved the best for last and we are absolutely going to be doing a video on these two. Grimsword and War Duke. I had this original, what was it? I think it was three and three quarter figure when I was a kid, and I just love War Duke. I love this figure. Oh, and look at the shiny. Look at how good he looks. I know this camera down here, it's not nearly as good as the one I have upstairs that I record on, but and you're getting a lot of glare, but just look at that. Look at how great that is. Love the artwork on the front. The artwork is awesome. You have some great promo shots on the side. It's just really depressing <laughs> that NECA gives us this. And we have those, the, the animated figures from Hasbro. I don't even know if I'm getting the animated figures, to be completely honest. They, everything I see, they break. They aren't done well. Hank can't pull his bow back. Like, that may sound ridiculous, but for me, that's, that's a big, that's a big L right there that Hank can't get into a, a firing pose. Look at Grimsword. Look at freaking Grimsword. And there's some weight to this boy, too. Because this boy is beefy. Holy cow. I've seen videos, I've seen photos on Twitter of how beefy he is, but Grimsword is beefy. That is a big, big boy. I cannot wait to get these open. Normally I'm not a big NECA fan, but these, these? And then you have, oh, who's the other one coming out? Um, Strong, Strongheart, Strongheart. The Paladin is coming out, and then the Goblin Thief, whose name I can't remember right now, Hasbro, let NECA do the animated figures. Let NECA do the cartoon figures. But this guy, this guy right here, between him and him, tell me those aren't some evil warriors. Tell me that's not the beginning of like a great evil adventuring party right there. So that's it. There's a lot of supernatural <laughs> going on right here between the Crow, the D&D figures, Skeletor and He-Man. Skeletor and He-Man. Plus we got, you know, Drew McIntyre standing in as my Highland Warrior. That's gonna be really cool. Pull the knee pads off. I'll probably just do a short to show you what he looks like with the knee pads off, stand him next to Drizzt. Nothing major for him. But then also, getting back into the G.I. Joe line. Really excited about that. But this boy, this boy is so big. This boy, not this boy. <laughs> this boy is so big. Both of these things are awesome and I can't wait to open them. I'm really excited about these. Like War Duke here, I told you, I, I carried that figure with me everywhere. As a matter of fact, I probably still have him. He's probably at my dad's place in some of my old, my old drawers or something. I gotta go back and try and find him. But that is it. That is what I have for you. I just wanted to get these out there so you can take a look at them. We have a lot more coming down the line, obviously. <laughs> so until next time, my friends, play well, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching.